Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Whale of Darwinian campaign. This is the second episode and today we're going to start chewing off Rune. We're currently sending Wine Lord Swain towards Bor Era Manarikis and we're also going to head down towards another settlement which lie over here I believe. We also have Nurve the infantryman over here with his elves. And he's probably going to just defend for the meantime. Your orders, my lord. We could probably... Lord. Yeah. This is fine, to be honest. My lord. My lord. Let's just bring them together like this, so we see a little bit more what we have. So, we were... Like, this army got pretty exhausted the last turn. We were fighting a lot of uh, runic uh, armies. But, to be honest, they probably don't have too many armies here. On the other hand, they will probably get some kind of spawn stack, which have been triggered. So they're probably going to send some large armies against us. So we're just going to hold here for the meantime. Over here, we're sending some troops down. And we're mostly building stables all around just to get those troops. And I think we can just end the turn at the moment. Now I really want your opinion on what you think is the... Hardest faction to play as in the Wild and Conquer. I want you to comment down in the comment section and you need to tell me What faction you think is the most difficult and why? Because that is quite exciting because a lot of people have different opinions uh, The ring isn't Dol Guldor. That is not of our concern We, can't we do have some more troops uh, incoming over here. I'm really your order. I'm really curious what these guys actually have. Yes, my lord. Now, yes. this is completely emptied. We're going to just be able to completely overrun that place. They do have some reinforcements over here. But this uh, Yazur, they have pretty much left this area quite open. Your orders, my lord. So I'm not wondering if we should not send a couple of troops. We could need some cavalry over here, as well as some more elites. Let's just send a couple units. We don't need too many elites, we just need to hold a bridge. But this army is just... They have way too many. We don't need all of those in that army. Yes, my lord. And then we're going to hit Borara Manavikis. That we should be able to bring down next turn. And I don't have any archers at all. So we're probably going to be able to use our crossbows efficiently. Alright, so... Yeah, these guys will head here. Yes, my lord. I think Nurva... I'm tempted to go over here, but I don't think we have the strength at the moment. We do get some more troops here, and we'll get some more troops from here. That's going to take a while until they are here. Let's just send the cavalry a little bit further. And they will probably be there in a turn. Now, Strondust is... the mines is finished. I'm going to go straight for the mining network. We just want that money real fast. The standing stones is... Yeah, it's finished. We need to get the tomb here now. Just to get the culture up, definitely. Alright, let's see, and these guys are on their way. So, someone mentioned that we could actually build a ship here and start shipping out troops. I think that's a good idea. But to be honest, we don't, we cannot recruit enough troops to field a boat at the moment. You see, we can't recruit anywhere. So, and we already have a very large stack here. And we're going in minus, so I don't think that's a very good idea at the moment. So we're going to wait a little bit with that, I think. But now, I am qu yes. quite tempted to send this army out already. Your orders, my lord. But I think we're going to wait one more turn. Let's just keep these guys inside here. And these guys can just guard a bridge. And we'll wait for these reinforcements. And then we'll be able to start hitting Mistran, I think. We're going to take the capital quite fast. And we're making a little bit more money now as we put the elves inside. Uh, these guys have a lot of forces though. We might want to get a couple more troops here just in case. And these guys could drop on Karasant anytime. So we probably do want these guys just to stay here. But Wine Regent Havin is going to be able to hold pretty well on himself. Let's send these guys down. We need some more elites against Rune. And I think that's basically it. Let's end the turn. Now, so I'm very happy about the first episode. We received a lot of positive feedback. And I've never gotten 1,000 views within 24 hours before. 
that's a new record so i'm really happy about that thank you guys so much for that i will not disappoint you this uh, campaign is going to be exciting i promise and hopefully we're going to take down mr on today that's kind of my goal so we'll see how it goes all right they have some troops incoming here which will not do anything they don't have much here either all right this guy is going to head out yeah we'll have a pretty sufficient force in the next turn these guys will just go here and he can just do whatever he wants at the moment these guys yeah that will that will be a perfect movement now let's take out Bud Eda Malarikis and let's just double check yeah we don't actually have any money left now at this point that sucks but we're going to get the mines in not too long and we need to just man Karasant. We forgot to move some troops out of here, which is unfortunate. That's fine. Let's send them. Let's take some Vinyl Levis and just send them down here. You are just going to stay here for the meantime. I'm tempted to send one of these guys just over here and just check. No, we don't see anyone. That's fine. Alright, let's bring it down. So they will not get any garrison troops here at all. And it's just a regular town, so it shouldn't we shouldn't take too many casualties. And we just need to take them down now because we this army costs a lot. And yeah. I will see on the battlefield, or perhaps this is not a very exciting battle. I think I'm going to skip this battle. We're going to focus on some real battles today instead. Alright. We have been doing pretty alright. We have lost like 19%, but I think we did a pretty good job here. We just uh, broke down this gate and this wall, and we just completely surrounded them on all fronts, to be honest. We're even fighting over here. So we've basically been fighting everywhere. Now we're just going to bring down their last bodyguard over here, Yazur. Let's just run into them and hit them hard. They will fall swiftly. Let Do not let these guys come in. And we should be fine at this point. Now uh, bring down these guys though. Alright, so when we have taken this settlement, I'm just going to keep pushing east. The problem with it is that is that mortar might be coming for us. But I do want to clean out this side before I start going on Mistran and such. I just think we have to risk it. And then we can unite the armies with uh, Nurve and get one large powerful army. Because we do need that, because they will send or they will get a Doomstack army once we take Mistrand, and that army is going to be very powerful. We'll need a lot of pikes to deal with their Lok in Azrim. Alright, 371 for 800 is very good in a siege battle like this. High Paladins getting a lot of kills, as well as the Thorn Bladesmen. Good job. Now, what is this? I cannot see. Do you guys have any guesses what this could be? It could be a lot. I cannot guess correctly. It looks like some kind of Numenorean ship. I don't know. But anyways, let's see what this city will bring to us, or town it is rather. But I think it is bringing in some money at least. We have triumph. 700? Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, let's just repair it. That didn't cost a lot. And the next turn we're going to get the standing stones. Yeah, we're making some money again. Now, Enmahad is the next settlement I'm going to head out for. Yes, my lord. Now, it would probably be wise to bring down this guy before we go further. And they will still have these settlements down here, which is a bit unfortunate. But I think we can continue our war with these, with these places right here. We can recruit out of this place in not too long, I think. Yeah, it's not too bad. These guys should probably be sent down to Bur Eramalarikis. And these guys will bring down Barkak. And then just head on onto Enmahad, I think. I think that's going to be the plan. Right there we have some... Let's just merge all of these units and see how many units we actually have. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. And let's bring them out to the field again. Orders, my lord. 
I'm going to try to leave behind these tunes and see if they're still mad. That's fine for the time being. Yeah, that's going to work out, I think. And these guys will be coming in down as well. Barkak, yeah, it's just wise to bring them down once we can. Yes, my lord. Let's bring a watchtower up here as well. Heading this way would just bother us with Mordor and Dolgoldor, which we don't need at the moment. But the border that rune gets is really weird. It's not going to fare us in any way, to be honest. But we'll just do the best out of it. Alright, let's bring down Barkak. I will just see you right after this battle. Alright, let's see if we can route them here. This should be sufficient enough, or it was not, it looks like, sadly. Alright, we'll have to go for another charge then. Just bring them down, boys. There we go. Alright, so we lost like 2%. Just wipe them off the floor. Some free kills and some free money. Always worth it. And you will just... This Prevent them from victory. stacking up a lot of armies. High Palins, just letting them do some nice work. This is probably Tuor. On his way to the city which was left by Turgon's people, I believe. It might be Nevrast, I'm not, do not remember quite. But uh, if you know it, comment down in the section. In the comment section. Alright, uh, let's see. One more turn now until we can get Mistran. We got 744 coins. Beautiful. We have triumphed. Now I'm yes. tempted to just go straight for Enmahad. It looks very weak. So why not? Your will, my lord. And these guys will get their reinforcements. I think I'm going to go for a spy here. Uh, we can't actually recruit him. We'll need a meeting hall first. And how much is a culture? Yeah, really poor. We'll get the standing stones though, and we'll be fine. And these guys will make the new army. I don't think we're going to go for this lone unit. There might be more hidden over here. Karasant is sitting pretty at the moment. And all of these guys are already on their way. Building stables, a lot of places. Let's hope we can recruit some horsemen now. I don't really get why we couldn't recruit those horsemen out of Strondost. That's very weird. Like 16 turns, I haven't experienced that before with just a normal tier unit. Alright, so this guy is just going to head over here. That doesn't really make any sense. Oh, it's probably going for that lone cavalry unit. That's fine. But it will definitely be good with some cavalry in that force. That is very important. Alright. Uh, this guy is lone. Let's just head out already. And then we'll bring these guys. Yeah, it's going to hit our income a little bit. That's fine. We're going to assault Mistran. It's definitely going to be worth it. We'll just send these guys back here. And we'll deal with those. It leaves this place a little bit open, but I think it's fine. Because we do get these guys as well. We got some more Wynyard Bowmen up here. These troops are just standing here though. Costing us upkeep, these as well. But we just gotta have them here in case they decide to attack us with their navy. It's okay, we're still having a very nice economy. Considering how many units we are fielding. As well as how little money we are losing. That's just completely fine in my opinion. Umruk. And let's see if we can actually recruit some cavalry now. Yes, we can. Alright. Let's just get them the next... Oh yeah, we can't. I'm almost tempted to actually drop this... This one. And go for some cavalry. I think it's going to be worth it. There we go. Beautiful. It's going to yes, take a couple of turns. But it will be a nice addition to our army. I don't think this army is strong enough to assault the inside of Mistran if they hold a pretty large stack. But at least it is strong enough to assault them and then make some other army attack us. I think it could hold out against Lord, that. Now let's just check yes, really quickly. We got some trash here. Trash here, trash here, trash here. 
We got a lot of trash. These guys can merge. It's not too bad of an army though. These elves will do so much work anyways. Yes, my lord. We might leave one unit here just in case they decide to attack this place though. So those guys aren't actually enough. Let's just put these guys in. And these two should just barely be enough. Let's hope that. Of course, Wine Lord Swain will be on his way soon as well. So that's fine. They do have another settlement around here somewhere. Let's try to find that as well. But the more settlements we take, the less money Rune gets and the more we get. So it's just going to go one way from this point. Let's see now if we can get some battles around Mistrand. It's a very wealthy region, getting the towns around this the Sea of Rune, because it brings in a lot of money, uh, because of the ports and such. Alright, we have more troops here as well. Ah, Loki Khan is here! I'm almost just tempted to let it go and just head straight for Mistrand. Yeah, we're going to go straight for those. And these guys will probably drop on us if we start attacking Mistran as well. Alright, in Ilanin we also got the stables now. Nice, we can recruit them there as well. Then it's just a very weird example with Strondos. I don't know why that happened. Alright, let's assault. Oh, this guy's just right outside. This is a gift from the heavens. Ah, we're going to capture it this turn. Wonderful. Yazur, you're going down, my friend. Alright, I will fight this battle of camera. I'll be right back. And we're going to get some nice action at Mistan soon. The last men are going down. It's not much left of the Loka Rain Bodyguard. They're falling. They're completely surrounded here. And we have only taken 6% loss. Much thanks to these cavalry. Which have just been proving themselves to be very good. At least these privateer cavalry. They've only lost like 8 cavalrymen since the very start. They're holding up pretty well. Pretty strong cavalry unit. Definitely recruit them if you can. Our men have captured the enemy general. And there he goes Guard down. Him well and make it so he can and the city is going to be ours. Army. Let's just see if we didn't miss anyone. Yeah, it's just small pockets. No worries. Alright, 86 lost. Victory. Yeah. Nothing over 100 actually. No, 99 for the Rhinan Riders. This does indeed look like Gundabad, the depiction of Gundabad. Very much alike from the movie. I don't know how Gundabad would have looked. It was just a giant mountain. I, ha I don't remember if there's any description about Gundabad, but I definitely think the Hobbit movies portrayed it in a cool way. All right, let's execute them all. Now we're starting to bother more down here. Wonderful. An honorable, glorious victory. Sack the settlement. Ah, oh, this is making a lot of money. Yeah, now we're definitely making some money. Here's the last settlement. Mataram. And then it's just a head up here. We have taken a lot of land already. I almost think that we should... Yeah, let's just go straight for our... Mataram now. Alright, let's see. Who are we going to leave behind this time? Probably these guys. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Because we sacked the settlement. But this is a really hard push. You see how how well a well compositioned army can work here. Now we might want to send one unit here just over to Enmahad. Just in case. Loki Khan Uldor. He will be overwhelmed if he tries to do any tr tricks here. Yes, Nurve is on his way. I think a boat now would be quite useful. We cannot afford it though. We can afford more good elite troops here. Ah, uh, we're getting these guys next turn. Wonderful. Othlubed is just going to stay like it is now. This town is a bit of a worry but I don't think they can recruit a lot out of it as well is Varfest that is an issue but 
we're just going to go straight here now and just clean up the eastern side because we do not have any enemies coming from here. Like Khan, I don't think they're going to bother with us at the moment. Now let's just hope they ship off those units to Mistran once we attack Mistran. That's going to be our hope. Ah, this, oh yeah, they're standing right outside. It's a gift from the heavens. And these guys are attacking, it looks like. Ah, oh, it's over. It's not over, but actually we can just attack Mistra now and they're going to follow us. Just take a look at how large that other army is, if we can actually manage this. Or if it's just way out of our power. We're going to see now. The Golden Horde rises. The Great Warlord Iyasu has arrived outside the walls. Within comes... Oh, wow. I think they have gotten a large army now. I will not waste words but I do not see any armies here at all. I will not waste but this is a little bit risky. They have emptied Mistran here. Me be. Your orders, my lord. But I don't really know if they have brought very I large armies. If there is some kind of army here. And it's my just lord. really risky, to be honest. Let's see if we can f see anything up here. No, that's just... That's just trash. We're just going to send him up here. I do yes, think we lord. should try to defeat those lord. armies, though. They can become a major problem, weapon, eventually. These guys are going to go inside last. Alvis. It's almost like Elvis. Let's get these guys here. And yeah. Wow, they even got some Udege Marines here. Yeah, they're sending a lot of power over here. I don't think we can assault Mataram now. I do think we need to deal with these armies properly. We can't just go from town to town and leave everything. That is not going to work in the long run. We just need to get more troops. Orders. Let's uh, deal with these armies before we leave. That might be what we... Yeah, that might be possible. We can defend this settlement properly. These guys will be on their way. And the ship. They have left their units now. I think I'm going to risk these guys going down here. Not making much money though. Let's get rid of these armies and then we're going to attack Mistrand. I, I just, I'm not going to risk that there is some other army here and then attack us. Like, that's just way too risky. Yes, my lord. We shall yeah, they do have... I, I'm going to fight them out one by one. And just inflict as much damage as I can. And take as few... As less damage as I can. They have a lot of Candice Rages. That's a very annoying unit. We don't have much to counter them. Except for these Elven Arches. But, yeah. But I'm going to fight these battles off camera. And I will be right back. There the first general goes down, let's just capture them all. They were a pain in the ass, we just had to chase them. It was like 9%. That was really annoying. But, let's see, let's just capture these guys. Yeah. And I will actually see you after I have defeated the other army. Actually, when I hit Captain Ayavayara, whatever what his name is, I can see Yasuna, and we see that his army is dreadful. We definitely don't want to attack Mistran just yet. We'll have to get some more reinforcements, most definitely. Our cavalry, it's pretty far away. But I think we need them before we start attacking that army. It looks like it's it's a really strong army. At least it's very big. So that's my guess. I think we're actually going to hit Varfest and this city instead. With, over here. And because we are not at war with Mordor, but we are at war with Rune, so they're just going to keep bothering us over here. So I think that's what we should do. Now, Is these guys me? have emptied here. I'm tempted to actually just fault. bring down two of these guys. Yeah, I'm going to bring down those again. That was a waste of money, but we'll take Once the upkeep. We need every coin we can get. But I'll, uh, as I said, yes, fight off this Lord. army. And I will be right back. Right, another army beaten down. Lost 7%. However, we are losing more and more men, of course. And I don't think we have the force to face of Yasur. I think we should just head back to Lest and hold there. Probably try to get a bridge battle somewhere. That would have been the perfect case to deal with Yasur. 
but we'll have to see how it goes. He might even go another place and help in the south, which is bad for us. But then, of course, we'll have to take out Miss Sansa. I, th I think they have to go in on the advance here against our lands. That's kind of like what they must rely on now. Right, let her try last. We have won here today. Great battle. Hidden city of Gondolin in its glory. It's looking wonderful. I am uh, thinking about making a lore video about Ecthelion of the Fountain. He's a very interesting character and he actually killed four Balrogs by himself, which I think is amazing. And I think he might be one of the best warriors in in Tolkien's Legendarium, except for Maiar and Valar, of course, the gods. Alright, so let's see here. Yasur is not far from us. Let's bring down Loki Clan, Loki Khan Oldor. And yeah, you're just going to bring down these two armies and then you'll be fine on your way over there. I will not waste words on you yet. We'll send these guys down to Enmahad. And let's send two of these guys to Othlebed. I'm going to keep these guys in reserve here in case Dol Guldor attacks. We have this army coming in and we have another guy in here. Yes, yeah, It's going to be interesting to see how how they perform here. Right, let's end the turn. We're not making a lot of money now. So we need to just keep pushing. But we are losing a lot of troops and that's just going to help our income a bit. Yeah, I think we're going to bring down the Loki Khan now. And then we're just going to wait for Yasur. And just keep expanding in the south. They're the ones losing on that uh, waiting time. Let's see... Your own. Uldor and Kablis. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll bring them down both. Winter and uh, yeah. Uh, there was another army there. That is just fine. Captain Sardin. Captain. It will be cool to see the Udugi Marines. They can throw fire. Karasant. Yeah, not making a lot of money now. Let's just put these guys in the fort and let's put my these guys in Lest. Your will, my lord. Yeah, we can reinforce uh, yes, Nurva as soon as we take down these armies. Your will, my lord. As you wish. And let's send this army down yes. to Burner Manarikis. Alright, so I'm going to take them out one after one and then just head straight for Warfest. Mataram can wait. Should build some standing stones here though. We can probably just... Like, the thing is we only need... Oh, they actually have have not built... Oh yeah, they have. They have built the meeting hall. So once we hit 25%, we'll have enough. That's not very long till. So let's just get them. I will not waste words on you. Your will, my lord. Yeah, let's go a little bit with the Great Hall. We can get more cavalry here soon as well. These guys are not far. I think they're going to arrive just as Yasur is coming, to be honest. Ah, oh, just look at this army. There's just not, like no way that we can deal with this army. But he is heading south here. We're going to see where he heads and if we can snatch Mistan before he arrives. Actually, yeah, he will just be able to go there. We're going to do one more turn and see where he goes. He might be headed for Enmahad. But that's fine if we get uh, Mistran, of course. Yes. Let's first bring down this Loki Khan. I'll just do this off camera and I'll be right back. And he goes down. Honestly, poor guy. Wasn't much to do there. Zero lost. Alright, I will see you after I've defeated the other army as well. And the general is about to go down. There we go. Nice swing to the head. Another freebie. They got some javelins into Nurve though. This is how Minas Tirith actually looks. It has a black wall on the first level, which is made out of the same material as 
uh, the Tower of Orthanc is made of, because it was the Numenorians who built it. So that's why Sauron have to build ground and attack the gate, because the walls is no. impregnable. Not possible to break through at all. Glorious right, let's just keep him there and let's keep an eye on where Yasur heads but there's just no way we can deal with all of these Lok in Asrim and all of these Lok Flagrim and all of these boys as well. That's a powerful army indeed. And actually if we just get some more money we'll have enough to get those guys as well. Yes my lord. These guys get free upkeep. And there we go, that's a little bit more. Wow, well, let's see, yeah, I'll have to deal with these guys as well. It's been a lot of just killing smaller armies, but it's necessary. So I will probably see you just to show you some of these Odiga Marines. We'll have to see about it. They were defeated. I will see you after I've defeated the other one. All right, there we go. Another army outperformed. Let's hope they don't have too many force at Warfest. I do think we are able to handle them pretty well though. I'm going to buy those mercenaries though, because they're definitely worth it at this point. Another cavalry unit is just so overpowered, especially this privateer cavalry. Very, very useful. I think we can actually get some far rune mercenaries as well. I'm not sure if the Vino can recruit them, but they should be in the area around here. Right, I'm going to recruit them the next turn. We can probably afford two of those. Or two different mercenaries. Alright, I think this is it for this turn. These guys will arrive. Yeah, we'll definitely get some reinforcements here. But this army is not strong at all, of course. It has taken some casualties here and there. Let's just see what Yasur does and we'll decide out from that point of view. Alright. If he goes back, we'll just bring all those units we can and probably we'll have to face him. These guys go here. And Yasur, he goes south. That means we should prob... Oh, they're actually attacking the Burka. Jeez, this could be really bad. I think we're going to lose Asal here. Stand. We are besieged. Let's see. A prime position to yeah, this is pretty much over. I'm going to fight it off camera and I will be right back. There's not very much we can do here. They have just too many. We've and even with two more head. units, I don't think we would have been able to do this. Candy's Ridge is very powerful as well. And Athel here will probably die pretty soon. Let's just bring down as many as we can before we go down. But yeah. We're going to lose Nabarka. That's a bit scary because we can't really look over the ocean and we cannot see those attacks coming. So I think it's time we bring a naval attack and attack them back. All right, let's just send in Athel here. It's not really much point in fighting this battle now. So the Athala Rangers, let's just take a look at their stats once we're here. They have 6 missile attack, 8 melee attack and 13 total defense. That's not too bad. But they're like a rain normal ranger in this. Definitely good, but we do of course have all of these elven elites, so what's the point then? And their Athal here goes down. And the Burka is lost. Well, it doesn't bring in too much money. But yeah, the naval, the naval power we have in that island is quite powerful. But we're going to hit Mistran and we're going to see what they do then. Perhaps they will send these troops back towards um, Mistran then. Because now Yasur is pretty far behind. And we're just going to take advantage of that. The troops by your order. It's going to be a dark ocean now. Just look at this. Yeah. Can't really see much now. I think that's a cool addition. But uh, it's 
just like a village, so it's not really easy to defend it. Unless you build a lot of ta upkeep, but you can't really do that. Alright, let's try to find Yasur. He's down Your here now. He's thrown. probably coming for Enmahad. Not much we can do about that. I don't think Wine Lord Swain will be able to hold this guy off Your at any point. So should we retreat or I'm thinking just hitting uh, Varfes anyways. I don't really care if we lose this settlement. Let's get these guys out though. As you wish. Your orders, my lord. And let's hit Mistra now. Now so we yes, have the chance. Yes. Yeah, they have pretty As large guys here. We shall prevail. I will not waste words on you. My lord. And this cavalry is not far behind now. Definitely what we need at this point. We can soon re start recruiting units here as well, which will be very, very nice for us. It's going to save a little bit of money. I actually forgot to bring those mercenaries, but we still can in this land as well. Just going to go all the way to Warfest and then we'll see what will happen here. Orders. Yeah, this army wouldn't have been able to deal with Yasur. It's just very, very powerful. And we'll need some strength to bring that down. But we are besieging Mistra now. And these guys will be here anytime soon. I think we're going to get some more of those. And let's get these guys as well and just place them in the forts here. Can probably recruit some more of those as well. Let's get as much cavalry as we can. We will go here. Let's end a turn and see what the world brings to us. Let's just, yeah, we have the rams built. Let's hope they launch a naval attack and attack Nurvena. I doubt they're going to do that. Let's see what Yasur does now. We can't really see where he went. So I'm going to check with the spy. They had no other armies heading for us now. But attacking Misran, that's a little bit ballsy. We'll have to see if I'm going to actually siege them out properly. Misran besieged. Yasur is on his way back. What we could do, potentially, is getting a bridge battle right here. I think that would be a pretty good idea. As long as they don't have anyone else over here though. If they have anyone on the other side, that's really risky. Uh, Varfest is really far, isn't it? That was probably not worth it, to be honest. Wagon. You're just going to go over here. No and these today. guys can just stay here. We'll have more units here in a second. Yeah, these guys are not really threatened at all. Let's send these guys up here. As you wish. I will not waste words on you. Alright, a bridge battle would just fare us very much. With honor. Let's hope that Yasur attacks Lord us over here. That would be perfect. Lord. Yes, my Lord. That's going to be a difficult battle in itself, but we have so many strong forces here. And we have the Avari, we have a lot of pikes, we have some thorn bladesmen and some Dorvinian infantry. I think that could be a very nice battle indeed. Will, Let's hope they go for the bait though. And these guys will reinforce us in the next turn. Karasant, yeah. We were recruiting here as well. Alright. Let's hope we find Varfa soon. It should be like right here. Mordor is just probably going to start hitting us from that side, to be honest. But We have so weird borders as Darwinian. And that's a real difficulty. Ah, they have actually met us with a large force. That's just fortunate. We're going to be able to fend these guys off. And Varfes is probably completely empty by then. So I'll just see right after this battle. Alright. 
Did some nice work here. Lost like 20% almost. But we brought them all down. And I think Vardfest is completely emptied now. And just ready for the taking. taking. So that's actually, actually very excellent. I really hope that Yasuri is going to attack us on that bridge. That's just going to be vital. Right, let's exit battle. Turn the fucking lost. Cavalry doing very well. We're going to recruit some more of those. Definitely worth it. And this is a pretty weird picture. Gondorians mixed in with Theoden as cavalrymen. Like, I know there was one night at the Battle of P the Pelennor Fields. But I don't think it was like this. But it's cool art nonetheless. But it's just a little bit of chaos. Alright. Let's execute them all. We didn't see what Yasur did. So it's going to be interesting. I think we're going to get that cavalry in time. That's going to be wonderful. Yasur is just on his way right here. Your corpse will be thrown to the dog. Can these guys Your navigate through though? Will, yeah, they can actually. Oh, my lord. Now let's rearrange this army a little bit. And let's just send a spy unit up here. As you wish. We can't really see anyone up there. Yes, Alright, let's just... I'm going to rearrange this whole army. Let's put all the pikes in first so we see how many pikes we have. Like, this is a good way to kind of see what your force can provide. And it will often make it so that you can see... Yeah, what you can really expect from this army. Let's just put all the spears in, and then let's put all the uh, infantry in. And in the end, these guys will go. We have space for two more cavalry, let's put in those. And this can just be a scouting unit. And let's hope that Yasuo attacks us now. Even though this army is quite powerful. But I do not think... No, we cannot take both of those armies. That's just not going to happen. Let's send these guys to last. He'll be very close though, but... We can just attack this one. Attack uh, Miston again, if that becomes a problem. He is Varfest, finally. Yeah, it's just this guy left. That's wonderful. We got a lot of riders now as well. Just gotta make sure there's nobody coming from Dogaldor. We'll make sure about that pretty often. We do not have an upkeep on these guys either. Let's send them down. Got some more standing stones. And these guys as well, just send them up here. There's no more threats coming from here, except for Austin Eri. We can quickly snatch that settlement after this one as well. Let's just wait a little bit with recruiting them until we really need them. I think we can start recruiting from less now, yeah. But we don't need it exactly now. Alright, let's see if we can actually spend some money here. I think it's about time we get one of these and prepare some forces here. I'm actually not going to send both of these down here, I think. One is enough. Let's get a ship and let's get some of these here as well. We're going to build an army and we're going to send them on the naval. We're going to stretch stretch a lot of forces out, but we're going to try to hit these settlements and just bring them down. Yes, let's just now hope that he... I really hope that he just hits us now. Come on, Yasur. That would be such a nice bridge battle as well. I think... A lot of you guys would have enjoyed that. Oh yes, he's doing it! Boys and girls, we're getting the battle we have wanted. Now I'm going to check very quickly if we actually have enough time to do this this episode. And indeed we do have enough time. We have just crossed like 40 minutes, that's not too bad. This is going to be one hell of battles. Look at all of these Loke in a stream. They're basically Swan Knights boys and girls. So, yeah, 
Let's just go at it. This is going to be very, very exciting. All right, we are here. Now I've just made a box um, formation here. And I do have these mounted thorn crossbowmen ready to just rain hell upon these guys when they come. And I've placed my Avari shadows over here. So they get some nice angle into the backs of the units fighting here. And I put the Nurva and the Thor crossbowmen here. So that we can get into the backs of those fighting over here. And then we have the Winyard bowmen here. Just uh, shooting right into the pile. We have the Avari Wars in reserve. And some Thorn Guard and some Thorn Bladesmen. And mostly the rest of the units is just position, positioned here. Ready to fight. And we are going to take a look at the units here. Log Flagrim is going to be a pain in the ass. 19 total defense, 6 attack, and they are effective against armor. That's really good stacked, and it's going to hit us pretty hard. They also have some Log Narim, which we have seen before. And we should take a look at the new units we have. Uh, the Mounted Thorn Crossbowmen. They have 5 missile attack, and they are effective against armor. So you're going to be very useful against the Log in us, I mean the lock um, flag rim if they charge in right away. And they also have 6 total defense and 4 melee attack, pretty okay. We have the thorn riders, 4 attack, 9 total defense, 6 charge bonus, that's also pretty good. Now let's see, yeah they're actually going straight in, that's very excellent for us. I'm just going to have these guys on fire at will, and I'm going to retreat them as soon as these guys come close. And I'm just going to start firing immediately as I can. Let's hope we get in a couple of shots before the rest comes here. Yeah, just shoot straight away. This point blank shot is going to be very, very good if we can get a lot of them. Hit those. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that's the execution mode. That's what we want. Let's get in. I don't think we're actually going to get any more shots. These uh, Rovanian Hunters is going to be quite useful though. Ah, we're going to get another shot in. That's wonderful. That was some very nice shots into a unit we definitely want to use the shots on. Let's actually just put them... Alright, let's retreat them first. Alright, now it's time to start firing, definitely. This is going to be hard, definitely. I am not certain we're going to win this. Right, we're going to put the, these guys over here and just fire straight into them. These guys can be used very efficiently. Right, let's put them right there. And I think they're going to just fire straight. Yeah, it's going to be nice, definitely. Those Balko Thribesmen cannot hold a lot of arrows. Alright, let's see what these guys can perform into the backs of this log flag rim. Let's see if they will get proper shots. I'm not going to have those on guard mode. Let's see if they get arcing shots or if they actually get the straight sh shots. Yeah, they actually get the straight shots, which is some of them get at least. That's very, very good. That's definitely what we need. Alright, so now it's just a slaughter at this time. But they haven't sent in their lock in a stream, which I'm very glad about, because I think we would have been pretty fucked then. They are very powerful. Uh, but they're just getting slaughtered now. Look at this, we're already in a huge lead here. Yeah, and these guys are getting nice shots into the backs of these guys. That's wonderful. We're going to hopefully use all of our ammo. Let's see if these crossbowmen actually get straight shots. No, they get the arcing shots, but that's fine. Nurva has already used so much ammo. Let's try to hit the bodyguard. That's going to be important to bring him down as quickly as we can. They still haven't been able to push out properly. That's wonderful. These guys are not even used in melee. And these guys will just keep firing. And just look at that, they get proper shots, that's wonderful. So you see how they can be used even on a bridge battle. That's why they are so good. But these guys have been starting to really outmaneuver us over here. I'm tempted to send these Avari Warriors in the back and just surround them completely here. They're not pr too happy though, we are in 12% lead, but still going to be a difficult battle and that we know. Yeah. 
These guys are actually engaged in melee, which is a bummer. Let's get them out of there. I'm going to send in these reinforcements once the Loki in a stream comes in. It's at that point we will need them. Actually, I'm almost tempted to send these guys over here and just shoot straight into those. No, we're going to use these guys. That flank can be deadly if we know our units correctly. Let's get them out of here. And these guys just keep firing. Avari Shadow is going to rack up so many kills this battle. I have no doubt about it. Mudev as well. Just imagine how many kills he'll get. Now, where are these guys now? Yeah, they got out. Let's just shoot straight over here. Let's see if we get proper shots here. They look pretty cool as well. We just can hear the sound of the Avari Shadows arrows. No, they will not get the proper shots here. I don't think we can bring them back here either. Let's try to hit them. Oh, it looks like the log. Yeah, the log in the stream is on their way. You guys gotta run over here now. These guys still haven't fired their missiles. I completely forgot about that. But then I'm actually going to wait. Oh, yeah, alright. Never mind. I'm going to wait until the log in the comes. Because they are very deadly unit when it comes to this sort of thing. Let's have these guys prepared. But uh, having the Thorn Guard in, in the front here is going to be vital. These guys are out of ammo, let's bring them to the front. Very boys, let's get them here. And we're going to start firing at these Loki in the stream as soon as they come in. They are deadly units because of their mass stats. We're actually going to take a look at their stats. Just look at these golden boys. 24 total defense for a cavalry unit, that's deadly. And they have 11 attack and 13 charge bonus. So their charges is just so deadly. They're like the Swan Knights, basically. Now, let's give them some javelins, because they're very susceptible to those javelins, because they rely mostly on their armor. And that's going to be a deadly, deadly throw. And these guys need to bring down those pikes, and we're going to put them in guard mode. And let's see if these guys can bring some more havoc. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. That's, that's very important now that we had some of those missiles left. I completely forgot about them, and that's very good. Because it's turned out to be very important in this kind of situation. We still have the Avari Warriors as well. These guys are starting to struggle a little bit. And just look at them, they're not going to fall anytime soon. Even in melee, they are in deadly unit. Where's our cavalry? They are here. Let's just have them here in backup. We don't want to cause any routing here. Let's put these guys over here and get a proper formation. Just push them back now. These guys can go a little bit closer as well. Only half the enemy force remains. These guys can go even further. Yeah, they're going to go straight into the pikes, which is just what we want. They can't really meet any other units than pikes. Uh, that's, oh, some of them are retreating. That's good. Nurve is out of ammo now. Let's bring him to the front. And let's use the light of Elbret once he hits. Uh, these guys are struggling. Yeah. These guys are dangerous. Let's put these guys out here. Stretch them. Or probably just put them in like that. These guys are also out of ammo now. And now we're going to start to struggle. Our main attack here basically came from all of those... Oh, they're trying to run straight through here. That's really bad. Let's use this ability now. Definitely need at this point. We need Bowman is going to be needed over here as well. This front line is holding pretty firmly as well as this side. Nudover should probably go here now. We're still 20% ahead, but it's still a pretty dangerous battle, to be completely honest. It could go both ways with these Lok in a stream. Still have these crossbowmen. Going to be so important now. And they're actually getting these 
very very important shots now some of them actually went over their heads which is kind of cool let's put them all the way in the Avari Wars will not be an ideal matchup for most of these troops because most of these troops are armor piercing but they're still a very solid unit and will still perform pretty well let's see yeah that's the that's the bolts we want and need look in this room still 43 here 43 here and 52 okay yeah this will have like 80 lock in a stream spread around here you want to speed this up a little bit but over here we're definitely struggling but I'm thinking about doing some cavalry charges once these guys run out of people over here let's just stretch them out not get hit too much these guys are out of ammo and they're not even engaged that's very very good actually we could try to attack now uh, because they are just stretched out we still hold a lot of people here though right I'm going to be aggressive now I'm going to try to hit them on all sides Aggressiveness can sometimes give you some nice advantages. Yeah, we're going to start facing these units. If we can just completely surround them now, just eat up this bit, we're going to be much better off. These guys are out of ammo now, let's bring them to the front line. These guys are getting hit still. Nurve is still a very good general and he will do some nice work in the end. We still have these two cavalry units. But they're tightening in, they have gained like 7% now. That's not good. These guys are almost gone, as are these guys. Yeah, but they are tightening in over here. We are hitting them hard. of Dadatai Warriors down there, scary. You guys as well, hit hard. This log flag rim is going to get so many kills. It's not even funny. These guys just keep firing at our Avari Shadows. And see, these guys are already kind of... Oh yeah, that's not good. Let's see... Not much we can do now. Just going to hit them hard. Try to surround them. That's going to be our hope here. Let's put Nurve here. And the Avari Warriors here. Let's bring these guys closer just to strengthen morale. As well as these guys. I don't want Nurve engaged just yet though. And these guys doesn't look to be gaining much ground, to be honest. But they are effective against these Lok in Asrim, these Vined Levis even, I think. They are skilled against mounts, that's a nice bonus here. Yeah, don't say that. 12%. This is definitely... We're going to lose so many units here, if we are going to win. Still not sure about that, guys. I'm going to wait a little bit with the Light of Albereth. Oh, it's probably just the time now. I don't know what that ability does, I always keep forgetting to check such things. At least a lot of the lock in the stream have gone down. They still have a lot over here, though. But they don't hold too many units here. If we can kind of go through here, I'm tempted to try that. Kind of flank these guys in the back. That's going to be important. The Candy Hunters. Ravanin Hunters as well. You are going in. Wonderful. Nurva will soon be in melee. We can actually hit these guys from over here. 
But is it worth it? I think this lock in stream is going to start chasing us then. That, that's what they usually do in such situations. These guys are not even engaged. Go in, hit those guys. Hit the lock in a stream. Lock flag rim is slowly going down. If we could have... Oh, these guys are running through. If we could have brought down the lock in a stream. Alright, hit those, hit those. You as well, hit the lock in a stream. Yeah, these guys are going through now. That's not good at all. That is quite dangerous. And they, these guys are very good against other cavalry units. So that's not going to be what we want either. Let's try to bring these guys around here. Or we could actually lure, lure these guys into trying to charge us. Oh, come on. We're going to charge. We can't even charge here. I think we need to send the Avari Warriors now. These guys are charging. That's pretty, pretty bad. We're just going to make them chase us. And we're going to charge these Dada Towers with the Mounted Thorn Crossbowmen. That's going to be okay. Just gotta keep running around. We have some routing here. That's not good. Let's charge these Dada Towers. Give me a good charge now, boys. It's very important. From 80. Oh, that I think was a nice charge actually yeah they lost like 20 men wonderful all right go over here now hit them another time over here we are yeah we're starting to lose a lot of men this is definitely one of the closest battles we're going to see wow look at that another very nice charge Important, important. These guys have stopped up and they, they as well. Charge these guys into oblivion. And then we're going to start charging these boys. We're going to have to sacrifice the cavalry here. Actually, no. We're going to need them. Bring them up there. And you're going to hit hit the locker room bodyguard. If, even though that's kind of suicidal. If we can find the general, it's definitely going to be worth it. Right, get out of there again. Go out, go out. But we are starting, I think. Yeah, we're 7% percentage. Oh wow, these guys are coming in. Nurve is on this side, luckily. That's very important. Go over here, go over here. Avoid them at any cost. We're going to be able to bring that the general now. We're going to charge him. Find him kill him this is very tense guys it's kind of hard to commentate now I'm doing my best hit the lock ring bodyguard from two sides where is the general Yasur where are you he's right there I think oh that's a deadly charge that should do some damage these guys are luckily very slowly, even though they're going to get a large chunk of us now. We're still going to be able to bring a lot through. And it's going to be worth it, I think. Our army is completely gone at this point. But so is theirs. Hit the locker room bodyguard. This is like an online multiplayer battle in Reforged. So close. Oh, look at that. These Mounted Thorn crossbowmen are heroes, man. And these guys have been doing so nicely with these Loki Nasrin. Just gotta keep charging these boys into oblivion. That's our hope. There the general is. He's right there. We just gotta do another charge. Or two. Or three. Ah, uh, we have some routing there as well. From those. That's nice. And Nurva is still pretty healthy. 
hit them hard now with both units. Bring the general down. Yasur is right here. This could be it, boys. This is the hope we have. They're tearing other, our other units apart now. Please kill Yasur. Now these guys could potentially do it. Oh, no, they're Battle not doing it. Swinging in our favor. From such tidings but we are still in the lead. They have only 4% left. This is such a devastating battle though. We might lose Nurva because of the other army probably upcoming at this point. Because they still have a pretty large garrison in Mistran. But we do have some troops recruited. We are ready to... Let's hit Yasu now. That wasn't a nice charge. Get them out again. Nurva must survive now. These guys are going for another charge. It looks like they're going to hit Yasur right in the belly. Yes! We did it! Wow. Incredible. Now, how will these guys fare now? Give a counter charge if these guys are going to tear us apart. And their units are starting to rout. Nurva. Oh, they're actually retreating now. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Holy shit. 89 percentage lost. That's the closest battle I've been playing for such a long time. It's like the Guild of Bad Battle, definitely. We're actually going to chase down these guys. They're just going to rout. We're going to get some more kills here, I think. They're just not really able to hit them either. No, we didn't really take anyone. We gotta wait until all their units have marched away. Wow, look at these guys! The enemy army One the soldier the left in both the Avari units. That's such a legendary this battle. Is a clear victory. 103 Thorn Guard healed. Oh, jeez, that's so nice. Thorn Bladesman as well. The Wind Infantry. Thorn Guard. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of heals, which is going to be vital. But the Avari Warriors, they're going to be completely gone, I think, because they have so few left in their units. 274 kills, 468 kills, and 444 kills. And Mountain Thorn Crossbowmen as well. This was... What a battle. Wow. But I'm fearing for Nurvis life now. The garrison in Mistran is probably going to attack us. And if they do, it's over. But we can anyways retreat. Always. We can always retreat. That was quite anticlimactic. Don't even know how long that battle lasted. Probably half an hour. Going way over the time set, but that's no, fine. Do not do this. Let's execute them. Oh yes, they are going away, they are going away. Wow. No, 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 no. Wow, this is bad, really bad. Let's see how many they are. Wow. The thing is, we could probably even take out these guys. We still have Nurva, we have Avari Shadows, and we have Mounted Thorn Crosswoman. These guys can arrive in one minute, basically. And it's the best hope we have to deal any damage to more of these guys. Th those Avari Warriors actually survive. Uh, we, yeah, I think... You only have three, three units of infantry, 200, 350, yeah, I don't know, that's going to be pretty interesting. Alright, I'm going to see on the battlefield, I might actually retreat, I'll have to see about it. Alright, we are, we're going to take this battle, we're going to try and just make a complete victory here. If we can manage this, we're just going to be heroes at this point. That was such a battle though. 
I don't think I've ever played such a close battle, which was so important. Now, just look at these guys. One crossbow man left, two Avadi warriors left. I'm going to keep those guys alive if I can. Just hit them in the rear here, boys. Just look at this, it's going to be deadly. Oh, we're actually getting some friendly fire. Hit the Balkot Spearman. You guys just throw all the Javis you can. That's what we want. And hit those guys in the back. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. We're actually in the lead already. Welcome Wonderful. We do want to hit those uh, dragon riders. They are the general. Hit those. You as well, hit them. Alright, we need someone to hit here as well. These guys are probably going into the middle though. Ah, uh, these are perfect shots. Wonderful. They're going to go straight through though. That's not what we want. Hit them hard, boys. We have these guys ready and prepared. Right, hit here. You hit here. Here's the ability. These guys are getting so much experience now because there's only like two men. Twelve percent. After this one though, we can't hold any more battles. Definitely not. Are you guys firing? Oh yeah, you are. Straight into them. Wonderful. These guys still will not fire. Probably gotta hit the units in the in behind. Yeah, or we gotta bring them a little bit further out. Just have them on shooting mode. Fire at will, I mean. And you guys probably go out as well. And the general goes down. We're going to win this now. They do not even have a proper general, and with all of these units in between. I'm even, even tempted to send these guys in around here and flank. If that can be called a flank. Hit these boys. Oh, that's actually going to be quite bad. Let's bring these guys close up now. And you can actually just shoot straight into here. Yeah, we're going to be victorious here. Just a matter of time. But what a battle. Or battles. Mostly talking about the other battle. Ludwig will be able to deal with these guys on his own. I think we're going to try, try some charges here. That was a nice shot and we kind of routed it all now. Let's just bring them all to the front. And there we go. It's just wonderful. I don't see what units are left now. Probably somewhere somewhere. See if the Avari Wars can get some kills as well. It's time to press the attack. Another great victory. We lost 50% of our force, which isn't that much at this point. Because what remains of this army is nothing. I really just want to save Nurva and those Avari Shadows and those Avari Warriors. All of these guys I'm going to save in a fort. They're going to survive all of them. Because they're just so glorious at this time. Let's end the, the battle. Utterly vanquished. Wow. This is a great victory. Nurva proving to be so important. What kind of ship this is, I cannot guess. It doesn't look like the Corsairs of Umbar, for they got a red star. Now if another army comes and attacks us now, we'll have to retreat in, in the battle. Let's hope they don't send any more. Execute them all. Yes, they survived. Mistan is now completely emptied. Those units we sent to the north, we're going to send back immediately and just reinforce. They're going to mean so much to our army at this point. Wow. Alright, let's see. 
They are all like three Lord units. Of my Lord. My Lord. Yeah, we can't deal with them, I think. Orders. This cavalry and this unit, wow, important. Yes, my Lord. I will not waste this order. army is pretty. Oh, yeah, they have two of those. My Lord. But we have some cavalry approaching. We have these guys. Let's put them yes. inside last. These guys as well. We're making so much money now because of that army just went completely down. Going to be a little bit careful about you. I'm going to go to Enmahad. We're going to get uh, Varfest now. And it's only a matter of time before we take Misson as well. Let's just check this army how... I will not waste words Three on units, you. okay. I will not waste words on you. Yes, my lord. Now attacking them. Could we bring them down? I think we could. We do have two units of cavalry, three units. And we still have these guys. We're going to send this unit. Or these we're going to send this one guy down here and just scout. Right, no one here. We're going to risk Mistran. To battle! And somehow we can't actually fight or besiege them. Yes, my lord. Oh yeah, it's probably because of your orders, my lord. These guys, I don't think. Not entirely sure. Or it might just have blocked us. Not entirely certain. My lord. As you wish, your will, my lord. Yeah, we were preparing a fleet now, which I think will be good. A diversion. We're getting some more units here. And we'll get these guys as well. Let's send these guys to Karasan. We're going to end the episode now. But it's the second episode. So I thought I would do a long one here as well. But I think I'm going to end it here. It's going to be such an exciting episode. Uh, next time. We'll see Mistrand falling. And we'll see Varfest falling. I'm probably going to do that off camera. Because it's just... It's a walkover. But yeah, I think that's it. I'm kind of blown away here. That was just such a battle. And it was really hard. But we are taking down Yasur. And what now lies between us and complete domination of Rune, I do not know. They still only hold... They hold one region here. They don't even hold this area. So one region here. One here. And this one. Five, six. Probably around six or seven regions yeah with this one but it's going to fall so quickly we're going to take Varfest we're going to take Mistrand this one will fall shortly afterwards when we can re re send swine over here and our naval attack is going to hit these settlements very hard and they do not have the forces to repel us My Lord. wow yeah this is going to be a nice time boys all right but I will say thank you guys so much for watching this episode it has been a real challenge, I must admit. Did not expect such battles. But it's been... Wow. Yeah, what a battle. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like. Do subscribe. I will. You will see more battles like this. And support me via Patreon if you'd like. I would really appreciate it. Now, I will post the Dwarves of Erebor campaign tomorrow. Or in two days, actually. So I will see you right there.